My name is Ken Schwartz of Precise Sharpening and this is a continuation of a series of uh, demonstrations where I'm introducing the Nubitama series of stones. Now this particular stone that I'm demonstrating today is a 120 grit Nubitama and it's in the bamboo series of stones. And you can see over here that uh, this is the Nubatama symbol, this is the bamboo symbol, and that's the grit. So here's the stone, and what I'm going to do to demonstrate it is I'm going to take a knife that's been dulled. It's a Maestro U knife. Uh, it's a chef's knife or gyoto, and this is the knife. And as you can see uh, in a couple demonstrations that I'll do here, uh, it's quite dull. Uh, not very sharp. Uh, another good example is how well it takes this piece of uh, paper towel and cuts the paper towel. So I'll demonstrate that against here and you can see we are getting nowhere on this. Uh, very dull. Just as one more demonstration, uh, let's take this overripe cherry tomato and see how well it cuts. Not well at all. So this is our dull knife for starters. Uh, so again this is a, a sort of light greenish turquoise looking stone. Uh, I expect that since it's a coarse stone it's going to be a somewhat porous stone and we're going to start soaking it and this this will be my first impression of the stone straight out of the box. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to wet the stone a little bit uh, just to get an initial sense of how porous it is. Okay, so quite porous. You can see it just disappears. So let's let it soak just a little bit. And as I've demonstrated in a previous video, we'll let the water run on it just a bit and see how we're doing here. Okay, so. Okay, we seem to be starting to saturate it. It seems to hold water. So, I'm going to start in with this knife and get it to a point to where we are establishing an edge. Uh, so this is pretty much edge creation and we're going to go from here and hold it at about this angle, fairly constant and do it to the point to where we generate a bird just to see how quickly the stone works and what sort of performance we can expect. So obviously you can certainly hear it. Uh, it's a good bit smoother than the 60 grit stone. So what I'm intending to do on this is to get a basic edge on the stone. Uh, not anything spectacular but just establishing a basic edge that will have some level of cutting performance. So right now I'm doing it all on one side. Uh, I'm not noticing hardly any grit at all building up. So it's not going to be a fast dishing stone. We can tell that pretty much already. So I'm going to let it run a little drier to see if we do get any mud build up and just feeling it I have a very well established burr already up to about right here. Work this just a little bit more. Okay, and pretty good, pretty significant burr all the way across. I'm letting the stone run a little dry purposely just to see how well it runs. Okay. All right. I have, I don't know if you can see it. I can certainly feel it. There's, there's a definite burr over here. One of the ways you can also pick up on burr is if you run it along some paper, you will see that it has a tendency to grab fibers and so forth. So I'm going to flip the knife over and grind on that side a little bit and also uh, begin by removing some of the burr that's on that side 
again by going laterally. So here's a few strokes going laterally and voila no burr already. So now let's work this side over a little bit and see how things progress. Okay, now we have some burr on that side. Let's remove that burr. Balance the edge a little bit. A few edge trailing strokes there. Okay, one or two more strokes. And you'll see on these I'm doing full sweeps. Okay, and now let's go and repeat a couple of these tests. Uh, one of them being to roll up a paper towel, uh, fold it over, and let's see how well that works out. Pretty well. And now let's see how our tomato is doing. Pretty well. So, what does this stone do? It's very quick, doesn't dish fast, and can put a very serviceable edge on in no time at all. Thank you very much, and stay precise in all your sharpening. Thank you for your time.